Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover why space scientists fear solar flares and CMEs more than any other natural event. Discover how these violent solar eruptions can cause massive radio blackouts, destroy multi-million dollar satellites, and even put astronauts at lethal radiation risk. This danger became reality just recently. On November 11, 2025, Sunspot AR4274 unleashed the strongest X5.1 class solar flare of the year. The blast triggered R3 level radio blackouts across Africa and Europe, forcing mission delays. CMEs expel billions of tons of solar plasma and magnetic fields toward Earth. They travel at speeds up to 6,000 kilometers per second and reach Earth in 15 to 60 minutes with virtually no warning time. Solar radiation surges can permanently damage satellite electronics from power disruptions to chipset failures. A single CME in 2024 damaged or destroyed satellites, costing hundreds of millions of dollars. Solar flares ionize Earth's upper atmosphere, making GPS accuracy drop from 1 to 2 meters to 20 to 50 meters. This disrupts commercial shipping, aviation, and emergency services, relying on location data. During large solar energetic particle events, astronauts on the moon receive radiation doses exceeding 1,000 times Earth levels inside spacesuits. This exceeds lifetime exposure limits by tenfold. Solar storms heat the upper atmosphere, increasing drag on low Earth orbit satellites. Operators must burn fuel to maintain altitude, and collision prediction becomes impossible when satellites slip 20 to 30 kilometers off course. The 1859 Carrington event created auroras visible at the equator and caused telegraph fires globally. Solar Cycle 25 has produced more intense flares than forecast, with multiple X-class events in 2025 alone. Scientists worry this cycle could produce historically significant storms. During the May 2024 storm, Earth's plasmosphere contracted from 44,000 to 9,600 kilometers in nine hours. This shield against space particles temporarily vanished, exposing satellites to direct radiation. Space weather models predict CME arrival times within 10 hours, leaving 12-hour operational uncertainties. Satellite operators cannot ensure collision avoidance during this window. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.